name is Dennis Kaichi Simet, the University of Kabianga Students Organization President and the SGC Chairperson. In the School of Agricultural Sciences and Natural Resources, pursuing agricultural extension. My name is Lemaron Lekumok, and I am a student of Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, a fourth year student at the University of Kabianga. I know you don't know me. For those who don't know me, my name is Florence, Florence Auma. My nickname is Phila. Yeah, I'm in the University of Kabianga. I'm a fourth year right now in the School of Business and Economics and I pursue Human Resource Management. My name is Cynthia Mogere from the University of Kabianga, taking computer science and currently I'm a fourth year. My name is Innocent Emmanuel Biambo. I'm a fourth year. I'm pursuing Bachelor of Science degree in Human Resource Management. My name is Job Waful. I'm a fourth year student at Kabianga University, pursuing a tour of science as a course. My name is Masi Achieng I'm a fourth year student at the University of Kabianga, and I'm, I'm pursuing a bachelor's degree in information technology. My name is Maslin Chekiri. I'm taking education science, combination is mathematics. When I joined first year, um, first I became a classroom. And by becoming a classroom, I got that interest in maybe serving or representing my fellow students with the administration. So after being a classroom, I ventured into being a delegate to a Congress person in the School of Architecture and uh, I campaigned. I had to campaign for me to get into that position. I have been an athlete at the University of Kabianga since from the very first week that I got into the University of Kabianga in 2017, I was walking by on the streets and I met Dr. Kosgei, who introduced me to the cross-country team. He met me and he was like, oh, my boy, you, you, can, you can join our track and field and cross-country team. And Dr. Kosgei introduced me to the team and I, I met a very vibrant team of athletics, uh, athletes. And it was a very wonderful team that I met back in 2017. And through that, they gave me a room to develop in sports, especially the athletics across the country and uh, tr field events. I have been doing triple jump. Uh... Okay, so, me when I first heard of COVID-19, I think it was in 2019, December. I, I just heard it from people. Here they say they heard it from news or watched it from news. You know, I don't watch news so much. So when we came to school, it was around uh, March, uh, the president gave a directive that we should close school and go back at home. So I remember that na that day, my friend had come to sleep over in my house. Then in the morning, she left. And uh, when she came back after I had watched a lot of things, uh, you know, in people uh, on this in the social media, like how people when they interact, when I that that ugonjwa. So when she came back, I was so paranoid. So before I joined campus, there were these myths and misconceptions that campus is all about sleeping, it's all about hiking, partying, going out with friends. But once you get to campus, it's when you realize there is a lot more to hiking, a lot more to partying, a lot more to going out with friends. Because you'll have so much assignments to do, so much research to do, the projects are here waiting for you to do them. So it's not all about having fun in campus. I got to know about uh, the Christian Union while I was still a fresher. Uh, I remember uh, one of the associates, is now an associate, he came to my room and uh, he told me that there is a Christian Union. and. Uh, that was uh, the best place that I saw uh, as an avenue for me to grow and an avenue for me to explore life in campus. Uh, my experience in the Christian Union has been phenomenal, uh, being that uh, there are a lot of activities, uh, there are many, a lot of ministries uh, that are there for us to grow. As and, a student uh, in any campus in Kenya or in the other parts of the world, basically, we need financial complement to be a stress, uh, live a stress-free life and therefore these financial issues or the funds that we need are used to cater for our upkeep 
for instance we need to we need to eat and as you know most of the campuses they operate on pay as you eat system so that is the major concern about money in campus and that's why you find some people without money they can end up sleeping empty stomach okay, having all those issues the government came into the support or the care of the students by ensuring the setting up of the health body so that they can provide some funds to students for their upkeep. In my hometown it's in Ahero and it's in Kisumu County and as you all know Kisumu it's pretty hot there and uh -huh, so Vile Nilipata my calling later to this university I had to do some little background research and I get to know the weather, get to know how people are and everything. And so after I was done with my research, yeah, um, I had to prepare myself because I was told this place it's really, really cold. So I had to buy jackets, trench coats, um, sweater, socks. I generally had to prepare myself. Yeah, and I did some heavy, heavy shopping at uh, Baridi. Uh -huh. People look with it, they are very welcoming and they are very friendly. Uh, if you want to tell someone you, uh, you love them, tell them a charming. And then if you want to borrow something from someone, no better at all. I like the international is great, but yeah. yeah, that's the basic things I learned. Yeah, design your friendship has not been easy. And starting the campus life, I've had both the good and the bad friends, and I did lose some of them along the way due to make mistakes, you know, mistakes such as pregnancies, and then some of them I did lose them due to lack of finance, that is the school fees, and they ended up deferring or dropping out of school. So, of course, it was not easy losing friends because these were the people that I had them at the beginning, but somehow we picked What really motivated me into, into leadership is uh, the art of wanting to lead the others. When I saw the student leaders at that time, the way they were presenting the issues of the students, I felt like I should, I should, I should be in that position, uh, representing my colleagues. So simply, I just had that urge to lead, and that's why I, I, I got into leadership. When I became a delegate, in that was in the year 2018. It was the first year. When I became a delegate, I had to look for ways to satisfy my constituents. In a way, they would see that this person is really a leader and is ready to represent our issues. And uh, by doing that, I had to work extra hard in representing them at the school level. Because being a Congress member means that you're representing them as a school and sitting in Congress, presenting the issues. Uh, I've been doing triple jump, 1500 meters, 3000 meters, and sometimes I've even participated in several half marathons and marathons. What kept me going into sport is I realized in the university, besides academics, which is generally the main purpose of why we are at the university, there is a whole lot of things that you, a whole lot of time that you have and you need to do something else. At times, a student would choose to be into drugs and stuff, uh, but then I chose let me be doing uh, sports uh, to keep myself fit at the same time to keep myself sober because in sports you really do not you can't be into drugs when you're doing sports so I chose to do athletics to keep myself fit in most cases when I'm bored and when I need to relax my form of relaxation is going on a, like a, a five kilometers run a ten kilometers run and it's generally what keeps me fun and what makes me love being in the university. I was so paranoid I did not even want her to like you know I was like, ah, 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 ah. and the angel was Kwanza. Yeah, so that is how it went down. I went home. At home, I remember even when I was going to greet my mom, I went to hug her. And then, you know, that comes to collect like, ah, 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 COVID 19. Yo, that fear had, had evolved in us. 
so we, we even we did not use to greet each other it was just like hmm, hmm. yeah there is a lot to learn from campus so campus has given me so much experience both in classwork and uh, in the outside field this one i've been able to gain through attachment which exposed me to my field of career and i've been able to learn that it's not it's not all about classwork definitely there is a lot out there that one is supposed to learn how to relate with people how to communicate with people out there so it has been a nice experience here in campus and uh, computer science has been such a nice course despite the fact that it's a course dominated by the men Be imagine being in a being in a class that has only nine ladies out of 50 is not an easy task but once you decide that this is what i want to do this is what i want to specialize in definitely will achieve and uh, christian union has shaped my life uh, being that has shaped me in the leadership and also in spirituality matters because i grew to become a responsible christian knowing my duties knowing what that i need to stand for in embracing the word of god it's so and critical it's and it's so important for us uh, to be part of the christian union being that uh, this is the only uh, place that you can grow as a family uh, this is the only place that you can also acquire certain virtues that can uh, form the basis of your life. This is also the only place uh, that you can know, you can get to know more about God. And it is the only place that you can also grow your talents and gifts. Because it has a lot of uh, ministries that impact us. We have ICT ministry, we have praise and worship ministry, we have choir ministry, and we also have uh, discipleship ministry. And all this uh, is to make us to be responsible citizens and to become people who are equipped for their active. And we find that this help majorly has been providing money, at least a maximum of 60,000 for each student, for those who have been applying. Then this is to those students who are in need of such money. You should not starve yourself, or you should not let yourself suffer or die because of financial stresses. You have to apply this money so that it can help you live a stress-free life in campus. In campus, there because we are mingling, we have those interaction with other people, which can trigger you to do anything to have money. And therefore, if you find that the accessibility of money is somehow a problem to you, you have to apply such financial help so that it can help you grow or grow academically without stress. And then to those students who are financially well, what, we can, what I can tell them, you don't have a need to apply for that, for those money because it grows as time goes by. Therefore, when you finish your degree academics, you find that your, the, the money that you have to pay will be much more than what you think you can give them. In 2019, I, a time came for another SGC to be voted in. And uh, during that time, I was now getting to second year. Being a second year, my life politically and in leadership, I had to also seek a position. And uh, I, I had to seek re-election to be a Congress member representing the same school. So for the re-election, it was a bit complex because, you know, normally when you are a leader, you want to defend your position and another new person is coming in. So you have shortcomings compared to the new the new contestant. So I had to convince people using the, the scorecard I had at that time, having served in the previous SGC. And lucky enough, I was able to be voted in for the second time to serve the students. And of course, it was awesome. Now that it is in the highlands of Kenya, uh, I think the climate and the surrounding just motivates you to run and to do what's, what you love the most. So that is why I had to go into sports. And also we used to stay at home. I remember my brothers, okay, they are, don't care. So I used to tell them, don't go out. But they're just like, no, as we are going out. And then, you know, they're coming back, they're not washing their hands. So it used to piss me off because me, I used to, to be afraid. What if I contact that disease through them? Uh, but with, uh, then I also remember I never used to leave the house. Me, I used to be indoors. 
like for a whole month and then I, I, I think I started getting used to it because in our area I did not hear any case so I was, I was used to it until even we got used to living with COVID but during that time that I was indoors I used to watch movies like do some TikTok videos you know and then eat a lot because you're not going anywhere you're not studying that time okay, so I remember I gained weight and for me I like vlogging so there's a day in which I did not see something you know interesting and then like Shika camera like this, I saw like my face had, you know, I had poofed because I had added weight and that kind of affected me because So computer science is a wide field. It consists of the software and the hardware part. But so far I've specialized on the software part that deals with system engineering and uh, system development, data, data science and artificial intelligence there is a lot more it's a wide field so out of these experiences out of these topics that are there in the software part i've been able to specialize in um, and uh, the web development which is html css and php and through this i'm able to come up with a website so through these languages, I was able to participate. I got a chance to participate in the hackathon. This goes to the first time of weekends. Let's say the first years. Basically, the money comes in lump sum, and it comes when they are in a free world. Let me say so because some of the students may have been having some restrictions at home. They, now some of them maybe they have never accessed a large amount of money more than ten thousand to be called in specific days and therefore having gotten around 20,000 or more once it brings some issues of misspending that is spending the money extravagantly and that's therefore we find that some of them may end up planning party after party some of them going into drug abuse some of them buy even some things that are of luxury purposes of which they are not meaningful to their life and therefore what I can add them or what I can advise them or encourage them to do with that money because their first time they have been provided shopping with their parents they have been paid school fees by their parents therefore the only way to cater for that lump sum provision from help is what they need to do they should have, have a proper budget for them to exactly know what is the most important and what is the least important but the best experience the third time the third time came for elections that's my third year in campus i had an urge to be the student president and this time round of course having been on campus it was a bit complex and i had that doubt of myself at some point but of course i had trust in the in my capabilities and the, the people who trusted in me i had to involve a series of meetings and campaigns as usual for any other campaign for me to get into that, that position so i was motivated by the fact that i had a good number of followers in all the campuses that uh, are in the university of Bianca. and with, with the system that we have for voting now that we have to use the delegate system according to the 20, 2016 amendment in the national assembly so we we have to use the congress or the delegates voting executives so my my position actually at that time was to use the congress for me to be voted in as the university president and uh, i managed after the campaigns the thara campaigns it was not simple and i managed to be the university of Kabianga sixth student president so those are some of the effects that covid uh, 19 brought in my life and then academically uh -huh. okay we our institution tried to bring online classes which at the beginning did not go quite well but as, as time was going by as time was going there is what's the right word for that as time was going by ah, to too, we did the assignments we had lectures and then we came back for exams 
But on the other hand, it delayed my studies a bit because right now I could have finished school. I could be out there, you know, hustling, getting my own money, you know. You know how people feel when they're about to finish school. Yeah, that can feel. What I like to advise the incoming first years is that computer science is not a course that is supposed to be taken by only the men. Even the ladies are supposed to venture in this school. Given an opportunity to go back to first year, I'll specialize much in program. Apart from studies in campus, there is so much that one can do. There are curriculum activities that one can participate in. One can also come up with business ideas. Like myself, I have bus various businesses selling shoes, clothes, that I do as part-time once I'm out of classwork. So it's not all about classwork. There is more out here that one can do that is beneficial. As I'll be moving out of campus is uh, to become a responsible citizen outside and uh, also to be uh, to make a difference in the society because uh, the only key for our, our existence is to make a difference and uh, therefore I'd like to make a difference uh, in my career, uh, in the society, in the community and even at the church and also non-profit organizations which I believe will form a critical part of me. Uh, my part in short is... In campus so far is that the campus has enabled me to interact with people from every corner of Kenya and therefore interaction being part of my hobby I really enjoyed it much more than anything before. If I were to if I were to go to first year I think as for now there are a lot of things that I have not accomplished due to some one or two reasons and therefore first years have a lot of time but they always waste that time thinking that they still have time to reach until the end of the academic, that's four years. Therefore, if I was to go back to first year, I'll first of all make sure I use that time maximally, either on academics or the other goals that I'll have set aside. Okay, my best experience in Kericho, um, when I came here, I interacted with a lot of people, like Nilijua Wachuengi, from different places, I made friends. So as for me, I thank God. He made some good, good friends. And my worst experience, this is when COVID-19 came in at my third year. Oof, things were really tough. Like, we had to break home, turn the home for like almost half a year. Hmm. Advice uh, in friendships in campus, please choose whoever adds value to your life. There's already a life to be lived after school. Thank you. Of course, being a university president is, to many people, it seems very, very good. Of course, it is good, but it is also challenging because you have more than eight, ten thousand 10,000 students seeing you and you representing their issues to the management. So sometimes being an organization that works under a management, so there's some challenges that you must navigate when you are a student president. With the team that I have in the executive and the Congress, at least it has been a good journey and the leadership is, is good. So it's a nice encounter being a president and uh, I hope and I know that this will create more awareness for me to be a leader in future, hopefully. So that is why I had to go into sports. My best experience while in campus is actually a journey of realizing who I am. I can call it a self-identity. I'm not the same person I used to be when I was in first year in 2017. A lot, there, is, there has been a lot of transformation within the, within the course of the last four years. So there is a journey of self-identity within the university and in my personal life. The skills that I've gained in my four years are one, leadership skills. Uh, I was a leader in, in my third year in the, in the CU. Yes, as a catering in charge, uh, I learned how to plan events, how to coordinate people. Yeah. Also, I've learned soft skills such as confidence, standing before people, you know, talking to people, leading in the praise and worship. Oh my goodness, that was courage. Uh, another soft skill I've 
gained is patience you know when you interact with people you interact with different people so you need to understand them and what you need is patience as i go out of campus i'm planning to come up with my own hub a hub that comes up with solutions that help solve problems that are out here oh my best experience in campus was the hackathon competition and another experience was participating in the cultural week i was able to participate in uh, the goosey dance my parting shot to you guys is that campus is very nice for those who have not joined work hard work smart and uh, purpose to join campus my advice to uh, first years is to join the uh, Christian Union and uh, I like to urge first years to be focused and to look at the bigger picture and uh, the major thing is to concentrate on your studies and also to believe in God and do according to the will of God because that is the major reason why we exist in this world. Yes. <laughs> One thing I'll try to advise them is they should keep track of their time because time wasted can never be recovered, they should not have that in, in mind that they have a lot of time due to their freedom, maybe from exposure, let's say those people that they were being restricted from movement at home. So they have come here, they have that enough time, that's available a bit of time. So what I can tell them, let them focus on what exactly brought them to campus. As I finish my four years course in Kabyanga, I aspire to venture into business as I long as I await for employment either by private companies or by the government. And therefore, it's also an advice to most of my friends who are leaving the campus. They should not solely depend on employment or get jobs, but rather create opportunities for themselves so that they can also enable them to employ their fellow colleagues. My advice to first years when you are Nakuja, and as I said earlier, Mkikuja you spend time yako just reading and reading and reading and reading yeah reading is good see at nakata reading is in kitumbaya but as you read also try explore get to know kericho get... so kama ningerudi back to first year i think ninge take much time exploring yeah my advice to the first years is Please enjoy life in campus, but be cautious. Yeah. Okay, the most memorable moment as the University of Bianca student president is having that opportunity to, to visit other campuses and other institutions to learn more and have more skills majorly on the issue of student leadership. When we are expecting the first years to join very soon, uh, advice I can have for them is that when you join campus, there are very many, many stories about campus, which some are true and some are false. When you get to campus, it, you have even to study more than the way you studied in, in high school. Campus is not as easy as people talk outside there. Campus, you have to study, you have to read for you to do exams. In campus, there is a pitting, there is retaking and all that when it comes to academics. And so, when you come to campus, have that co-purpose of being here as academics. The question as I go out of campus is to grow professionally. As a computer scientist, I know there is a whole broad field that is awaiting me outside. For now, I, you know, there is programming, networking, uh, certified ethical hacking, a lot of things are waiting. So I intend to grow professionally through taking some professional courses and maybe going for my master's. And yes, uh, as I said earlier, it's growing as an entrepreneur in business. Uh, my parting shot is enjoy your life in the university. It's only for four years and you're going to enjoy the rest of your life outside. My short is uh, to encourage uh, each and every individual to be part of the Christian Union because this is the place uh, that is better for each and everyone. Uh, just feel, uh, just be part of it, and let the Christian Union to be second nature to you. Hey me, I'm aspiring to be a business woman, a successful entrepreneur in line of beauty, food industry, happiness, yeah. yeah.
if I would go to first year right now, I think I would concentrate more <laughs> on my studies. Because you know when you come to first year, you are always told 40 marks is the past mark. So you are just like, 40, 40, ah, you don't Long term. Dream outside there is to be a politician, a political leader in Nandi County. And one day, God willing, I will be the member of parliament. And the advice I would give a first year is like choose your friends wisely yes understand yourself know who you are know what you want have your own principles yeah and also don't don't be afraid to make mistakes I can advise you make mistakes then you learn from them leadership to me is now a passion. It has been nice and very great serving the University of Kambianga uh, Student Governing Council and I wish that those people, those leaders who will join to serve at the same capacity in the coming years really, really work to see the University of Kambianga Students Organization go move forward with time and serve its purpose of representing the students. So thank you.